crispy. All right, so I'm finishing up this shot right here with Mezco Mr. Spock, but I uh, added a few details to it, so let's go ahead and take a look at this figure. Take a quick look at this uh, little kit bash that I did of the Mezco Mr. Spock. So again, another shout out to Dallas for posting the Spock online. Uh, it was a great deal and I scooped him up right away. Pretty much just to uh, customize the figure. Um, so the first thing that I had to do was I cut those uh, knee high boots down. I cut them to just below his knee to make him look like regular boots. Kind of, kind of. It's kind of cool, it makes him look more like a general. So I like that. Uh, if we go up, I took this off a of Scourge, so this is just the Scourge um, gun holster, and then I took the belt off the of Scourge as well, and what I did was cut it in half, so I have two belts, one over the jacket and one underneath, so that fits real nice. He has thin legs, so this, uh, this holster falls down a lot, but the pants do hold it up. But I really did like the way that this belt looked on there, and it has the knife in the back. So add a little feature. Then he has the belt over his uh, belly, and it has some shotgun rounds in it. More of like a reinforced buckle, some more shotgun rounds. That's real cool. And then uh, I had this uh, gun holster on my on my Red Skull, but I took it off to put it on him because I wanted it to look good in the back, and it kept the jacket real tight. So that was real cool. This damn thing keeps falling. Um, so this hand right here actually comes from the Revel Tech Yamaguchi Snake. Um, I just had it out with all my Mezco stuff, and I just put it on there, and it looked real cool. It uh, fits real, fits perfectly on the peg, and doesn't lose any articulation. So I thought that was really cool. And I put Star Lord's little backpack on him to add a little feature, like he has, you know, some grenades or something in his backpack whatever your imagine could create. Um, then I found this gun at GameStop. It was actually one of the, um, what's that game called? Uh, this is from a game, it was a random pack, you know, it was a, a Mass Effect, it was from Mass Effect, one of those random gun packs. So I stuck that in his hand and it fit perfect and it scales really good with him. So, there's that. Uh, so the jacket, the jacket actually comes from a 3A, uh, it actually comes from the 3A Hornets, uh, Hornets set. Um, I had a bunch of those figures a long time ago, and one of the jackets I had taken off, and I dyed it black. And I actually left it in a Ziploc bag for 24 hours in the black dye, and it turned brown. So you can, that yellow was just so hard to get off. But, um... I had it, you know, just my bins for a real long time, and so I was able to get the uh, <clears throat> the Star Trek jacket off of them, and it was really it was kind of cool because you just cut one string, and then you just pull the whole thing out, and it came right off. So I was able to save this, and I could put it back on him if I need to. And then, you know, like has the belts and his little blaster, but I like this version a lot more. Let me know what you guys think. Pretty badass of Leonard Skinner, Skimor, whatever his name is. Rest in peace, by the way. But uh, yeah, I really liked it. Um, gave him like a real military style. And it's cool that it's the mirror, the mirror universe, so you can kind of make up whatever you want. It's kind of like a Dungeon Dragon story, you know. But let me know what you guys think. Is it pretty cool? I like the shot that I did. The planet was supposed to kind of look like Vulcan. 
you know, kind of making him look like he's going for a military mission for revenge. With this Vulcan militia. I don't know. But uh, I got the, the image off of, like, sci-fi landscape. And I just, you know, picked the best one that would fit his background. But yeah, that's going to be it. Uh, let me know what you guys think of this Spock. Um, I also just did this uh, brick wall. I just, it's not the best, but I just wanted to tag it up. It's pretty ugly, but I like it. Let me know what you guys think. Alright, peace.